Good afternoon, my name is Stephen Chambers from Bayswater Green Sales and we are the UK, Mallorca and Southern Spain dealership for Fairline Yachts. Now today I'd love to take this opportunity to show you around our stunning F-Line 33. This particular boat is the outboard version with a hydraulic high-low platform. So uh, let's move to the stern of the boat and we'll show you all the features. The F-Line is another of the Mancini designed boats. Um, beautiful, beautiful hull, really good looking boat, stunning performance. Um, this particular boat is finished with the grey gel coat, sets it a little, little side from the others. Um, and this is the outboard power. Um, so she's got the, uh, the twin Mercury Verado 400s um, with this really cool HMB high-low platform, um, which we'll show you just how that one works. So the outboard powered version of the boat comes with this H&B platform which serves two purposes. Um, as set up at the moment, this is its normal running position, so dead in the middle. If we lower her down, uh, she basically becomes a swim step, letting you get on and off the boat. And she'll come right down below the water level, so kids on and off, um, makes it really, really safe. Um, we'll bring it back up to the middle section. And then if you were using her, say in the Mediterranean or, or gaining access from a high, a high bank, she'll basically come up um, to the top. I've got to be a little bit careful because of the outboards. She will go higher than that. You basically just trim your outboards up a little first, so she'll come right up to here, making it really easy to get on and off this boat. Okay, with the platform all the way down, we'll wander up on and um, show you around. So nice, easy, walk through. Um, we will have the inboard version of the boat here hopefully sometime next week and uh, we'll do a walkthrough of that one just to show you the, uh, the different stern option but pretty much from this rear bench seat forward both boats are actually the same. So you've got this nice high low table option, um, seating around the cockpit for both. Wandering forward this particular boat would put the two individual buckets. There is a bench seat option also. Really nicely laid out helm design. We've got the Garmin GPS map, um, which is linked up to the Fairline system. And also the Smartcraft system um, for the Mercury outboards. Really cool multifunction steering wheel. So you've got your horn on there, all your music. Um, you can deploy your anchor up and down from there. Everything as well is on uh, remote controls. Got the VHF radio um, and on there, the bow thruster as well. Now with all the Fairline boats, we have the, the Fusion stereo system. Really nice, cool driving position. You sort of position right in the center of the boat so you get excellent vision all the way around. We'll wander up to the bow in a moment. We'll just have a look over the front there. We've got the nice big sun cushions in place. Just as we pan round, get this really nice big wet bar here. So if we open up some lids, first lid is the sink. Second lid, we have got our griddle. Behind the doors, we've got our fridge behind this door. And then through this door, we have our ice maker. And then the final door, you've got plenty of storage drawers. Now these drawers are sort of laid out to take the crockery and all the bits and pieces so it's not jumping around the boat when the boat's underway. Close the lids down. As I say, we've got this, this cool idea here uh, with a table. Now the table's high-low electric table. So we'll just drop the table down and show you how this works. Um, as I say, basically this whole cockpit area um, as an option um, infills to make up a big sun pad. So simply by dropping the table down, now you can have a manual table um, as an option. We basically drop it all the way down and then we simply hinge the backrests forwards on both. So we've just got the safety catches on the stern one at the moment. I'll try and do it one-handed. 
Easier if you do this first. And then they both come down either side. That gives us this nice big cut pit sun pad. So nice, safe sunbathing area. There is a bimini top available for the boat, um, which covers the forward part of the cockpit. That extends then uh, right to the stern of the boat. And you can actually have the, uh, the sky deck canopy for up on the bow as well. Now access to the bow is through these really cool opening side doors. So doors just hinge inwards so that they don't get in your way. A couple of built-in steps there to get up forwards. So as we just walk forward on the boat here, we've got this nice big sun pad, um, built-in cup holders on the sun pad. We've got the deck hatch. There is a center section, a little pop in there um, to infill so that you've got a full sun pad. And then we've got our anchor locker up the front here with a windlass. So a nice through hull anchor. So the boat maintains our stunning lines. This particular boat hasn't got the um, handrails fitted, but the handrails are an option on the boat. A couple of other nice sort of little nice features that we've got are these pop-up fender holders. So you literally pop up, loop your fender around, hold your fenders again, nice and low profile, as are the pop-up cleats. She's a big boat for a 33 footer. Lots and lots of big cockpit space there, really nicely laid out. Big nice wide decks. I'm walking along the boat nice and easy here without sort of too much concern. Uh, this particular boat we've fitted with the S-Tech, the synthetic teak. Um, however, real teak is also an option on the boat. Um, to be honest, most, both prices are pretty much the same, um, depending on which option you go for. Upgraded stereo packs, we've got the big sub on there. As well as the sort of standard four cockpit speakers. and then a surprising amount of cabin space. So as we wander down, nice, easy walkway into the cabin. If I just sort of stand in the middle here, so I'm trying to put the camera low, looking in the mirror there, you can see I'm, I'm six foot two, I'm standing here nice and comfortably. On this particular boat, again, we have fitted the electric high-low table so table up and then she'll come down again and there is an infill cushion here that makes this up into the um into the additional berth just panning round got this nice big sideboard and we've got the option of the second fridge in here standard it's storage cabinetry and then you've got some further storage by way of a couple of shelves in here. Then up top, we've got some more storage shelving. And then we've got our full breaker panel. And just above that, the cabin lighting. And also this particular boat's got the generator fitted. So it's got the generator controls. Another nice feature that we've uh, fitted to this boat is the Apple TV. So basically we've got the, the TV built into the mirror. Now we're in the showroom here, so we can't get any reception whatsoever, um, but that is full Apple TV. The other option on this is to have a bow camera fitted um, and that bow camera actually plays through the television. So effectively your TV is your bow window. We've got this nice daylight lighting option for the boat which gives it a, a really sort of big volume space feel uh, down here. Plenty of room again for a 33 footer and just spinning around full size head compartment. So again, standing headroom, it's a wet room shower. 
you've got a couple of storage shelves here in the back end of the lockers and also some further storage gained by having a counter mounted sink door to the owner's cabin cleverly folds away and sits flush here behind the bulkhead here and then we're into our double owner's cabin again plenty of lighting down here good big double side berth just as we come round got some storage lockers um, one either side some further storage sort of spaces either end of the bed there are a couple of storage spaces behind the pillows here and again we've got this secondary storage so as you back out the owner's cabin into the nice big saloon and come back up the stairs and uh, into the cockpit of the boat. Thank you very much for joining me on this walkthrough tour of the stunning F-Line 33. Um, for any further information on this outboard powered boat, or any details on the three inboard stock boats that we have available, please drop me an email. It's stephen, S-T-E-V-E-N, at baitswharf.co.uk, and I'll be happy to send you all the, all the specifications and the e-brochures and bits and pieces. In the meantime, have a great day, take care, and stay safe.